not giving you a hard time. Why are you giving me a hard time? How am I giving you a hard time? You don't have a licence and you're drunk. How am I giving you a hard time? Because there's some... You're in denial, mate. You you know... No, I'm not in denial. You are. I've got no issue. Don't touch me. Oh, that's going to be worth a full up. In Nunawaddy, Senior Constable Dean Pickering is gearing up for trouble. We spotted this uh, ute up in front of us, a uh, red tradies ute. Uh, noticed uh, a good portion of the front of the car actually missing and very keen to, uh, to have a look at his load as well. It uh, looked like there was a fair bit on the back of this thing. Driving an unroadworthy ute with a potentially unsecured load is dangerous enough. But is he speeding as well? 54. Oh, gee whiz. 62, so he's doing 62 through that 40 zone, which is too fast. I'm going to try and grab him here before he gets up onto, uh, onto Blackie Road. Ooh, went wide on that roundabout. Speeding and swerving in a residential area, this driver is a serious hazard and seems oblivious to the patrol car behind. And at long last, the driver pulls over. How you going, mate? You got your licence there for me? I haven't got one. Haven't got a licence? No. All right. Have you got some ID for me, mate? The boat licence is fine. When you say you don't have a licence, what do you mean by that? I was in jail for nine years for armed robbery. Any alcohol tonight? Yes. How much have you had tonight? Oh, plenty. Plenty. And sure enough, the ute's not the only thing that's loaded. Wow, mate. You, how much have you had to drink? You're, this thing is, is about to blow a free score. It's going that hard. How long ago was your last drink? Uh, just then. Well, mate, even then, I mean, I've been following you for a few minutes. Your driving's been a little bit average. You took a long time to pull over. You realise there's a 40 zone through there. I grabbed you at 62 well, on the I laser. Didn't hear. Sorry? Yeah, I didn't hear. Well, you should. I mean, it's. The siren's not quiet. It's fairly <laughs> noisy. I, did, I didn't hear. I'm just oh. telling you. This tradie is clearly plastered. But drunk driving and speeding aren't his only problems. What about the front of the car? Where's the, where's the front of the car? Someone reversed in front of me. Well, what are you doing about fixing it? Do you understand that makes the car unroadworthy? No. As the list of offences increase, so does the driver's impatience. No, you don't the car's have a not unroadworthy. Well, it is, but let's, let's worry about the bigger things before we start worrying about those. Are you coming back for a breath test or not, yeah. mate? No. No. You're not? No. All right. Any, how come you don't want to come back for the breath test? Because you're full of shit, mate. Give me my licence. I'm not giving you a hard time. Why are you giving me a hard time? How am I giving you a hard time? You don't have a licence and you're drunk. How am I giving you a hard time? Because there's no. some <laughs> You're in denial, mate. You're, you're, you know... No, I'm not in denial. You are. Mate, I've got no don't issue. touch me. Don't touch no... me, mate. You're yeah. telling me now you don't want to come back for the breath test? No. All right. Let me explain to you just the consequences of not coming I'll back. I'll tell you, well, who would do what? Rod, Rodney, listen, OK? If you don't come back, OK, you'll be charged with refusing to accompany me for a breath test, OK? You'll get a summons to appear in court if you're found guilty. You're looking at a uh, uh, likely outcome being further disqualification of your licence, sizeable fine, you may get jail time for it. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of... You know, I've done nine years in prison for armed robberies, man. Dean checks the driver's background. So I'm just running him through now to make sure there's, there's no arrest warrants or any other reason why I would be taking him into custody tonight. He certainly will have a day in front of the magistrate, though. Already with a record of drink driving and violence, this driver is becoming increasingly aggressive. You know, I've done nine years in jail farm robberies. I'm not going to put up a bag like him. I don't give a You know, he comes on the heavy with me. I'll tell you what. What's your current address, Mark? It's on there, isn't it? No, it's not current. What's your current one? What does that one say? That's not current. What does that say? Can I say? Sorry? We're getting it back now, but that's not current, mate. What does it say? 59... It's not current. Where do you live now? Where do you think I live? Mate? I'm asking you. 216... Right. So why would you tell me that address then? Which, which one is That's my it? rental property I'm renovating at the moment. Don't have to shout at me. As the driver is obviously looking for a fight, Dean brings things to a close. All right, mate, you'll get a summons to appear before a magistrate oh, on the matters we've spoken about tonight. Drink driving, refusing to accompany me, speeding, unroadworthy car. So, Leggett, you haven't got far to go to this address. It's not far from here. Two seconds away. All right. But he hasn't finished with Dean. Yeah. Can you drive me home? No, you live two seconds away. Yeah, but I'm lazy. No. I'm a tradie, mate. Oh, I know, but two seconds. You you look, hey, you like me. Well, how, no, he how, doesn't. You yeah, do. How, how close are you? How Where are you? Right here. You're not going to give me any shit in the back of the car? 
Hey, look. Come on. I mean, you're doing... Come on, I'll give you a lift. I'm not a taxi service and I don't make a habit of it. There you go. But look, two factors. He'd had a belly full and look, the temptation would be he might go back and try and drive the car as well. So I'd rather just get him removed from the car, get him back to his lounge room where I suspect he's probably having another beer.